Cornwall has changed quite a bit since I grew up. We have our mining heritage. And, you know, they often joke that uh, every time you find a hole in the ground, you'll find a Cornishman down it. Now Cornwall is at the leading edge of the next energy transition into renewable energy. So here we are running a business that's specialised with taking energy out of the ground, tapping into some of that uh, history and heritage. We're really underusing the natural energy of the sun. Being able to harness that solar energy that's stored in the ground, they can actually provide heating and hot water and do away with fossil fuels. Nature is actually pretty incredible. All we have to do is be smart enough to take advantage of that natural energy source. The solution to heating our homes all this time has been right here beneath our feet. By using solutions like heat pumps, we can just take that low-grade heat energy directly from the ground, upgrade and use that. At the moment, more than 80% of our homes are heated by natural gas, which is burned in the home, and it releases carbon dioxide, which is contributing towards climate change. Kenzo is reducing the carbon impact of heating our homes. We are the UK's only manufacturer of ground source heat pumps. Ground source heat pumps in particular use a low carbon electricity, they're highly efficient, so the carbon emissions are far, far lower. Here we're very lucky that we've got the space to be able to do um, quite a lot of innovative solutions, but it's quite an interesting question to how we would do this across the rest of the UK. Imagine all those terraced homes in high-rise buildings and with blocks of flats in some of our major cities, Bristol and Manchester and London. We can use the same approach called networked heat pumps, where we put the infrastructure for the ground array into the street as shared between multiple homes. And then you have an individual heat pump in each property is effectively bringing the 21st century equivalent of the gas grid. So we can drill vertical boreholes, we can share boreholes in, in whole streets, and then we uh, can put in very small miniaturized heat pumps into those homes. So this technology is available to everybody across the UK. So we work with communities, particularly with local authorities and the more vulnerable in society that don't have a choice between what type of heating system they use. And we help the council to develop the feasibility analysis to be able to invest in ground source heat pumps and lift those residents out of fuel poverty. I think the key for us is to talk to organisations who own large amounts of properties and to tackle decarbonisation of heat at scale. Renewable energy options that's available to everyone is important. Heat pumps are expensive, heat pumps are disruptive. So was the gas mains when it was put in. Mass adoption of heat pumps would mean lower cost, lower carbon and better air quality all around. I genuinely do not see any other solution that can be better than that. So heat pumps work by moving energy from a source, in our case, the ground, which is all at roughly 10 degrees, to a sink, which is a radiator circuit. The energy we collect from underneath the ground in the field comes through here, through the garden in pipework, and then goes into this shed here, and inside there is a heat pump itself. The heat pump upgrades energy into usable heat. It's transferred to a gas called refrigerant, which is in its gaseous stage at that point. It then goes through a compressor where it's squashed and then molecules are bumping into each other and they become hot. The hot gas is then passed across um, something called a condenser and then put in our radiator circuit where it heats your home. So in heating mode, we're moving energy from the ground into the home. And in cooling, we just reverse that. So we're moving energy from our home and putting it in the ground. The really exciting bit about this is that we can then use it for heating later. A question a lot of people ask is, does it work all year round and is it warm enough in the winter? The collector pipes here are about a, a metre and a half underneath the ground and at that depth, they stay relatively stable temperature. Yes, it warms up a little bit in the summer and then all winter we take heat out. 
day to day, you wouldn't know that we've got a heat pump. It's been fantastic. I think it's quite poetic that we're surrounded by a place where previously we took minerals and coal out of the ground and burned it to create heat. And now we're moving to a solution where we only take heat out of the ground, leaving everything else untouched, making a positive impact on the environment. We're right on the edge of this huge revolution in the way we heat our homes. The UK currently has around just under 29 million homes. By 2050, we're going to have to take out all of those gas boilers and replace them. People make choices around what's cheaper right now, not thinking that those costs in the future are going to become a bit of a problem. So we need to be thinking about life cycle costs rather than capital costs. We need to be thinking about integrated technologies, car charging, battery storage, heat storage, different types of ways to heat your property and store it within your property. When I think of what a decarbonized world would look like, you can afford to heat your home in the winter, cool it in the summer, and all of that is powered with renewable energy. By using solutions like heat pumps, we can actually live in a much cleaner, safer, lower carbon world.